Okay, round one. And this is a keepable hand. We do actually have all of our colors. It's just a little bit slow, but that's okay. We'll try it out. Unfortunately, it didn't pick up the Rakdos cards out of the first pack that I was hoping to. Ooh. Oh, man. Why did I open with the mountain? <laughs> Was not thinking on that one, folks. Was not thinking. Eyes in the skies would look good. Actually, aerial maneuver looks fine. Um... Yeah, let's get our Tide Drinker out there. Kind of holds back his attack, believe it or not. Since I can at least swing in and lifelink back. No, he does not care. Rester. It's pretty good. Um, hmm. I can do Clue Stone plus a Rester, but there's no Extort. Or I can do... I can do... Uh, but I'll still lifelink in, so I guess that's probably the best. And I advance my board... Otherwise, I play Gutter Skull, and I leave up Aerial Maneuver for the Sky Knight, which isn't bad either. But let's let's get our let's get some more board presence. I feel like that's what I wanna that's what I wanna do right now. Plus, it gets me closer to this Maze Abomination. And now at least I can aerial maneuver plus Boros Charm, which I feel like is actually going to be pretty relevant. Let's just pass. I'm going to leave up both those options for now. I think it's worth it to eat the uh, Sky Knight. I can actually extort too. Cool. Ate it. I like that. All right. Still looking okay. Let's see if we can get our abomination down. That would help. Nope. That's okay. All right. I guess we do... Um, Kind of like I guess Shambler Gutter Skulk. We can also do Infantry Gutter Skulk. It's definitely a combination of that. I kind of like the Shambler 
Not sure why. I guess because it attacks into guards and then it gives me something to do. But Warmine Infantry will also attack into guards. I guess then I'll lose the Arrestor, though. All right, let's play the Shambler. Let's do Shambler Skulk. I kind of like that. Or actually, why don't we just start extorting? This actually holds off his transport attack reasonably well too, because I'll just block and then I can ex then I can just make my guy huge next turn. Kind of makes sense to me. Now I can buff up the Tithe Drinker, and if he tries to respond to it, I can just Boros Charm once again. Synod Law Mage is Dece. Alright, let's just get this thing down. Leave up. Boros Charm. All my two drops, really. Swing in for four. Lifelink. Okay, and could leave up the protection on the Tide Drinker. That doesn't seem bad. But getting down a Syndic doesn't seem bad either. Then we can just start extorting like crazy. Let's try that. I like that a little bit more. Don't get to extort off the Syndic, but I like having the, the board presence. Um, I mean, we can six damage him technically with the charm now, which is pretty impressive. We can also just slam the infantry and get on, uh, get our battalion on, but also get some extortion out of the way. No plays. It's fascinating. Um, all right, so looks like we're going to be swinging with. Tide Drinker, Syndic. If he's got a patrol, we at least have the Boros Charm. Aetherize is pretty brutal. No, did not play around that quite as effectively as I would have liked. But, yeah, that just happened. Alright, so that sucks. Did not play around Aetherize in any way, shape, or form. Still have double extort going, which is good, but Tide Drinker just lost a pretty important aspect. All, he was just an Aetherize away from wrecking our day that whole time. Wow. Did not realize how fragile our army was, I guess. Especially with Boros Charm backup. That literally Aetherize was, was probably one of the most uh one of the most devastating ways he could set us back there. That was that was pretty devastating. Alright, let's try and figure this out. Nav squad's huge against us as well. Where's off Guildgate? Um Maze Abomination seems like something we're going to need here. Don't get to extort, though. It's kind of the issue. Just getting mauled on. Alright, I guess we're just playing Maze Abomination. 
Don't get to extort. I realize this, but unfortunately for us, kind of need him at the moment since Nav Squad can begin to beat in as well. But getting the Death Touch is pretty cool. And the Lifelink. I guess I could swing here with Tide Drinker and it wouldn't matter. Because if I trade it for a guard, it's okay. Because then I can get in with these guys again. Or he can't really crack in with the Nav Squad. Yeah, let's get in. I mean, I guess I would like to extort... But I get to lifelink here, too. I'm going to go for it. We still have an extort engine. Yeah, he took it as well, so that makes me feel kind of good about it. Jesus. Alright, we must have directly been passing to this guy, because this guy's deck is pretty insane. Yeah, he's just attacking us for a million damage each turn. Pure Flyer. Got Steeple Rock. Probably going to be bringing that in, as you might imagine. Arrestor's done... Alright, let's get some extort out of the way this turn if we can. Ooh, gutter snipe too? That's huge, actually. Alright, let's get gutter snipe down there. Let's leave up a red for Boros Charm if we need it. Okay, I think we've actually probably just got lethal via gutter snipe and extort now. But I'm going to swing with the tide drinker again. To get more lifelink feel like it's necessary because it's actually only eight damage with the extort but this will get me some more lifelink give me a little more life and if he loses his guards he can't extort i think i think it's it's worth it get rid of his extort gain some life buy me a little time to figure out how i'm going to kill him with this boros charm and and also, I guess I can just Boros Charm and protect the Tide Drinker, kill his thing, but it's probably better to just do the Boros Charm as straight damage. It's a little bit of a surprising block. Alright, so gain a little life. Okay, still not dead. Let's do the math here on how we're going to do this. Okay, so four, five, six. I think we just swing with I 
I currently have seven mana. So four, five, six, seven. Yep. Warmind and Boros Charm are the plan this turn. So let's just swing with the Maze Abomination here. Um, yeah, he doesn't get to extort, so I guess that's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good, but whatever. I don't need to make it indestructible. We're not quite on that kind of time schedule here. So I think instead we're going to be doing Warmind Infantry Extort. Leaving up the charm and extort. Still get to block his armored transport. I think we do have lethal here. Depends on how much life he gains. Well, that's pretty devastating. God, that's so devastating. Right at this instant, that's so devastating. God, that's so devastating. I hate that so much. Still gets to gain that life, too. Yeah, Runner's Bane there was, was pretty pretty much a catastrophe. Alright, how the hell do I not die? How am I getting back at him? I need to leave up the Syndic. I need to block here, unfortunately for me. I do need to block as much as that is horrendously bad. Alright, so we're going to block here. And then we're going to Charm, Extort, and deal a bunch of damage. I think I just need to do two extort next turn. All right. Oh, I think we got it. Thank God. Talk about a close match, huh? Or game. It was only game one. Jeez. That runner's bane for him, though. That really came in, like, at a, cl a really important time. All right. So that was a super close game. He's got just... All the flyers in the world. So I do want this. Maybe even leave Decree to slow it down, but I don't know. I really wish I had gotten the... I mean, Skyblinder set, but he's got plenty of ground guys that block too, so it's probably not that great. Maybe I want to take out... I still like my 5 drops quite a bit. Oh, uh, what do we lose? Hmm. Maybe a rusher. Let's try that. Yep, let's try that. All 
Okay, have all of our colors, which does make this pretty keepable, I think. Not the best hand since it doesn't have any creatures, but it's got some good spells, and hopefully we draw some creatures. There we go. There's one. There's another one. Now I guess we can Marshal Glory and Extort if he plays the guard. And I would totally be willing to do that. Could also just do Lightly of Sky Knight. It's a good clock. Oh, Sage is right down the center. Alright. He's not that big of a deal. I'll trade a Marshal Glory for it. Alright. I'm actually okay with this too. I mean, we have the extort, so this shouldn't matter that much. We're going to have to play our Martial Glory eventually. Alright. Key rune and a land. That works too. All right. Still taking it. I actually like that quite a bit. So now we can do infantry and extort. Sky Knight's pretty amazing. Yeah, Sky Knight's amazing. This guy has two of them, too, so pretty big deal. Crack him back for four. Hit two more lands. Striker. See, if I play the striker and I don't extort, it feels really strange. It's obviously telegraphing a trick, but I'm not sure I have the luxury to play around that. And I do want the striker out there. I guess it would have made more sense to leave up the Boros Charm, but in case. But I'm I'm just gonna play the aerial maneuver anyway. And I guess he I'd rather him kill the Fire Fist Striker because it doesn't look like he's gonna be blocking too much this game anyway. I do still have to worry about Aetherize, too. So if he leaves up the four mana, I'm probably going to do something about that. All right, good. Eight the Sky Knight. I guess the, the really sick thing about Master of Cruelties is that... Alright, he's leaving up Aetherize. Which to me, I think means I should just swing with the... Warmind Infantry. I would prefer to not have to deal with... Aetherize. 
but I'll trade an Aetherize for a Martial Glory. Because that's not the end of the world. Actually, maybe I just play the Master of Cruelties here. Although he runs Runner's Bane, too. Let's just drop the Master of Cruelties here. I changed my mind. I want to get him down there. He's a big deal. And he's a mythic, and he does stuff. Oh, he can only attack alone. Okay. Now it makes a little more sense. Oh. More flyers. More flyers. Wow, he could leave up Aetherize and Eyes in the Skies? This guy's deck is real good. Ah, this guy's... F I wish I had more answers for flyers. That's the really frustrating part about this. There's not enough answers for flyers. He doesn't have Aetherize up, though, so this is actually, like, a really good opportunity to attack. So, I think we probably active treason, griffin, and make it so Sage's Row can't block. And we get in for a bunch... Could also get that martial glory through. That'd be more... Oh, wait. You stupid. It's totally not what I wanted to do, you dumb game. Stupid, 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 stupid. If he ends the game with one life, I'm going to be really, really mad. Yeah, I know. I wasted my stupid mana. God, that's frustrating. Well, he did take a bunch of damage, so that's good news. Means I can kill him with Boros Charm next turn. <laughs> I wanted a Martial Glory there to get him even closer. I didn't know how he was going to block. Well, it's okay. I mean, it still turned out pretty good. I do just need to be able to resolve a Boros Charm and Extort now. Which is good news. Okay. All right. Should have won this, or I mean, should win this now. I don't know how he can come back from that. So, uh, despite a couple minor errors, still pulled it out, it looks like. All right. See you guys round two.